uh, route for zero to cloud. Coaxial from cloud to cable. <sighs> Serial from zero to one. Straight through from router uh, to Netacad. Console cable from router zero to config terminal. Router one to switch. Apparently they want the fast Ethernet one, so they want uh, fiber optic there. And then wireless router to family PC. And of course, always verify connections. So that's ping confirmation. And then
go to the website. Of course, that's what it says. And so, uh, as far as examining the physical network, uh, switch to physical view. So the cloud connects to the home network and it also connects to the primary network. The primary network connects to the secondary network. And there's one Ethernet cable and one power cable, two cables total, but only one is an actual connection to uh, a network. Or actually, no. Uh, three cables total. One of them is a coax that goes to... Uh, to the cable modem. And one is a, an Ethernet. That goes to the, uh, the primary network. Uh, one of the orange cables is going to the cloud. The other orange cable is going... is the, uh, fast Ethernet. <laughs> so that's the, uh, uh, that's the fast one. There should be an uh, oval mesh covering the home network, and that would signify um, that would signify the Wi-Fi. And home networks typically are home, so they typically don't have racks. Racks are usually designated for uh, larger uh, switches. Uh, so yeah. So now it's time to go for some uh, identification of MAC and IP addresses. <laughs> uh, ping 
Switch to simulation mode and repeat the ping. Okay, so basically, not the source and destination IPs and MAC addresses. And where it's at. And I click forward. Uh, now take note of the source and destination IPs and MAC addresses. And then again, and notice that the hub, it sent out two packets, uh, one towards the switch and one towards uh, the computer that didn't send the packet. And notice that it's basically being dropped at the computer. And the reason for that is because it's not, uh, <coughs> it's not the source IP or the source MAC address. And it cannot forward the packet any further, so it's dropped. But the switch, even though the switch is not the source, Mac, or IP, it still can uh, forward the uh, packets further. Uh, so it's kept at the switch. Uh, for, and it didn't... Okay, so when I hit next, uh, it did not go to the... Uh, other two computers because the switch actually has an IP table as well as a Mac, uh, Mac table, which is basically a list of, okay, the, it, okay, so the IP table is a list of, these are the IP addresses uh, that I have on, uh, plugged into me. So I have two computers plugged into me and I know both of their IP addresses and I know both of their Mac addresses. So I'm not going to bother sending them down that way. <sighs> it goes from router to switch zero. And at every one of these steps, take note of the IP header, of the uh, source IP, destination IP, uh, source uh, MAC address, destination IP, uh, MAC address. And then it goes to the access point. And the access point sends it to both of the laptops. <clears throat> Dropped at point two, uh, but processing at uh, uh, dot three. And then uh, the dot three processes it and sends it back to the access point. Notice that the IPs have flipped and so have the uh, MAC addresses. Uh, access point to switch. Switch to router, router to switch one, switch one to the hub. And then it's going to send a second ping. And it's going to repeat that entire process again. I would like to know why 
uh, at this point, uh, the access point uh, automatically generates uh, uh, a frame to send to those laptops at this point. And then uh, yes, it did. Uh, <clears throat> question one, yes. Question two. Uh, yes. Uh, not in any significant way. Uh, the hub did not lose any information. Uh, the hub just repeats the information to wherever it's sending it to. Uh, did the WAP do anything with the information given to it? Uh, yes, it sends it to the laptops, or gets it from the laptops, and moves, uh, and moves it along. Uh, no, back, no Mac or IP addresses were lost. Highest uh, layer used. So far, it's just layer two. Okay, so going from uh, switch to router goes to layer three. And going from the laptops to the access point is also layer three. Or at least the uh, destined endpoint, anyways. So yeah, it looks like layer 3 is the uh, highest layer used here. And that's mainly because it's sticking to the same uh, to the same network or to the same LAN. And the hub did repeat uh, the hub did not replicate, but the access point did.
and the source appears first. And that's um, basically these double, right, uh, these double greater than symbols. That's basically saying from this MAC address to that MAC address, which means the source. So you're going from the source to the destination. So the source is first. Uh, that occurred uh, once the, uh, the uh, 10 Network 3 uh, after it received the packet and as soon as it created a packet to respond to the ping requ uh, request. Uh, uh, was there a pattern to the MAC addressing in the simulation? Uh, yes, if it's being sent from the uh, 172 network, that one's first and the other one's second. But once it starts being sent from the 10 network, it's gonna uh, be flipped. Starting with 00D0, that's gonna be the uh, 10.10.10.3. Uh, the other MAC address belongs to 17.16.31.2. Uh, basically, the 00D0 belongs to the uh, device that you're pinging, and the other one belongs to uh, the device that you're pinging from. Uh, yes, they do, because, you know, now it's being sent from the 10 to the 172. Uh, just so that the, uh, the router knows which network... Okay, so if, if there are two distinct networks on the same LAN, uh, or if the router has to deal with two networks, it'll just, it'll know, uh, which network, to, uh, that it's being sent from and which one it'll be sent to. Mainly the IP addresses will be in, uh, V6 format instead of V4. That is it for today. I have to keep going so that I can start, you know, uh, tutoring.